I am John Ramsey. I'm principal designer on a lot of Trident's projects. Quite often we've got customers that have a specific project in mind and we're designing for a specific garage with a certain lifting arrangement and we'll configure a submersible for them. Uh, sometimes we'd be talking to people at the show and we realise that there's an emerging kind of market or people are asking a lot of the same question and we kind of don't have anything that'll fit that particular bill so we we create something and and then yeah we render it up and create the specifications the parameters of the submarine design are always slightly fixed they're always relatively heavy because they have to weigh as much as they displace and to make them large and comfortable they 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 get heavier but what we're what we're trying to do with the with the newer designs and what we're exploring is offering more of a kind of experience inside the sub as well as having that incredible backdrop of being under and in the ocean. So creating dining spaces or a casino or space where you can have a massage in the submersible in an incredible underwater environment. We're um, two-seaters all, all the way up to 24-seaters. Um, we've got a, a new model, a nine-seater, but you can configure it from anything from one passenger up to eight passengers and a pilot. Um, so the kind of versatility is there to, to make it however you want it to be really. The latest model we've announced which is the the Arva with the patent pending kind of cigar shaped uh, pressure hull. We've sold three of those um, since it's been announced. One for a, for a yacht, one to the cruise industry and one for a private resort. So you know spanning all of the markets really. We've just done the pressure test actually. It's big, well, it's big news for me as the, as the engineer, the, the deepest ever acrylic hull submersible has just come out of the pressure chamber. Everything looks good. It's been tested down to, um, I can't do the maths quick enough in my head, but 2,400 meters with the safety factor of 0.2 on top of that. So that'll be deepest diving acrylic hull submersible by a factor of about two. It's a monster. It's three person, it's for project rev. My favourite thing right now is actually the patent pending technology with these various geometries of the submersibles that we can configure now to suit the interior. So instead of packaging a submersible into a sphere or a cylinder, we can now sculpt the submersible shape in acrylic around what we want to have in the sub and that just opens up a whole world of opportunity for us. It caters for everything, really. You've got the you've got the leisure. You can go in and relax. But of course, you know, what we find a lot is that they're getting used for archaeology or science, or our owners kind of give them out and allow the vessels to be used for all sorts of incredible projects. And I think that's one of the areas where we find our kind of owners are get, getting the most satisfaction from from these vehicles. That's been the kind of model for Ocean X and Project Rev, and you know, there's there's others on the go at the minute, and that's you know, it seems to be a, a great way of doing things. The owners of these vessels don't have any say in what what goes on. While I mean, that's the remarkable thing I think is that they they really do donate it to the point of having no say in in what the vessel does during the time when the scientists are on board and you know, how the vessels use, where the sub dives are, it's, it's amazing.